Hi everyone, so I am so excited to be sharing with you all the different things that went through my head and parts of my experience with my TEDx talks um, because I've realized there's a lot to say and a lot that people wonder about. So the first thing I want to talk about today is uh, how you come up with your topic. So think about your life and think about the different things you've experienced. Have you studied something? Have you researched something? You don't even have to be like a super scientist or anything like that. I know someone who has dealt with, um, oh, what was it, like uh, digestive issues in her life. And so she has researched for her own purpose, for her own purpose, all the different solutions out there, you know, different herbs, different eating styles, when to, times of the day. She's She's Googled everything because she wants to know what different things will actually work for her. I'm sure you've had some topic that you just Googled everything about, watched every single YouTube video about. Um, I, I have researched everything about like how to do your dissertation fast. That could be my next topic <laughs> just because now I know some different things. When you Google something or watch the YouTube videos, certain things will jump out at you and you're like, ooh, that's good. And it will completely change and shift your mindset. Did you find that special hack on how to finally organize your life? Did you look to see all the research that's out there about a particular like cramp in your foot and you found that research showed this um uh the doctors have found this people okay i had eczema on my finger forever forever and um i i looked all over youtube and i found this one guy who was like i've had it since i was little i'm 25 years old now i have gone through all the phases of like being embarrassed to hang out with friends because my hands just were all blown up and scarred and had had cut and scabs um in school in dating and he and i was like oh that's how i am in the business world it's professionally it's not professional to have band-aids all over your hands right so i did this research tons of it and finally the guy said every single soap out there has this thing called sls and i was like oh my goodness let me see and i used to love bath and body work soap i used to think that you know you were totally living the life if you had bath and body soap in every single bathroom and by your uh, kitchen sink so then i looked at all of that soap and they all had it anyway by researching all this stuff I was able to remove all of that kind of soap, only wash my hands with soap that has no SLS, and I'm telling you, it changed my whole entire life. So you could talk about the power of uh, learning from something, or you could be the one person that has researched this more than anybody else because you needed a solution. I have, um, I, I know that at my university, we have an alternative medicine program and there's this one girl who all throughout her, her training, every time she had to do a paper on herbology or acupuncture or, um, Ayurvedic medicine, she would always refer to, uh, or research how that alternative medicine approach can be used for autism, autism, because her daughter had autism. And then when she graduated, she was like the one and only person in the whole entire world, not one and only, but like one of the few people in the whole entire world that has done absolutely this much, this much research on how alternative medicine can help with autism. So what is it that you have researched? You don't have to be some fancy researcher. You could just be a person who was super, super curious. Maybe you had something happen in your life. Maybe you had a close to death experience. Maybe you had to deal with, um, aging parents and this the mental health that is related to that maybe you even had uh, bullying happen in in school uh, I mean I have experiences with bullying that I never even identified as bullying I just always thought it was just people with bad personnel or not bad but different personalities and I once I was able to look at it in a certain way I realized I experienced the same exact thing that bull people who are bullied experienced and so I had to break through out of that and find my own strength and so that's actually part of the theme in some of my in one of my, both of my TED talks um kind of yeah both of my TED talks had like a bullying aspect in it I never really called it that so what is it that you've experienced um I know someone who 